Now, I would like to welcome to this video. Um, so I am familiar with the IGCSE um, economic syllabus. Okay, and also with, okay, this one is the GCA level. I'm also familiarized with it. And today I would like to talk about the recent exam trends for the IGCSE level. The first topic I would like to talk about is subsidy. Now, um, you know, there are a total five. Five kinds of government intervention in your textbook, um, namely, uh, you know, a uh, price ceiling, price floor, um, taxation, subsidy, and one more is called the quota. So we found that uh, the, in the recent exam trend, subsidy is a very very hot topic. So I would like you to bear in mind, okay, uh, somebody study first, okay. So what are the effects of the subsidy? So I would like to go through these two questions. Um, so the first one, um, let's take a look. The price of the substitutes fall, then, then the quantity of that particular good will raise, okay. Then the demand for your goods, the demand for your goods will drop, the demand for product X will drop, then we need to price and the quantity of x will drop so the answer goes to c if we draw a diagram if we draw a diagram okay um so when the demand drops when the demand drops so both you know uh you can see that okay uh let me draw so both the you know price will drop and the quantity will drop okay so the answer goes to c now for for another question it was quite tricky okay which of the what problem will be reduced with okay um, of the government subsidy okay so this one um, in bit uh, is about the merry good under consumption so this one you can see okay they try to link up the government subsidy um, to another topic called the equity and efficiency okay so um, if you recall if you recall in this topic um, the merry good are always underproduced okay. This merry good, okay, is underproduced. Okay, it will go to the efficient level only with the you know uh, government subsidy. Okay, so it's quite difficult, but remember that okay, subsidy is a very very hot topic. The second topic that are very hot in recent exam trend is about the cost curve. So make sure you understand the formula. Okay, you make sure you understand all the formulas. Okay, all the formulas like. You can see this time you can see this one is about the formulas this one this question also stress on the formulas number one and number two of course you need to know how to read the diagrams of these course curve okay um, so um, one thing I would like to highlight is that okay um, in recent century okay it always talk about the average the average okay so I will put a asterisk here make sure you understand all the average course curve how to get them so right now we are going to move on to this question okay we have to find the variable cost now when you read this curve um, we start with zero because here this is the fixed cost okay and this is the variable cost so remember so remember that okay so um so that's why we will have um wx as the variable cost over oq okay so the answer goes to c um, for this one, okay, which cost will fall continuously? Okay, um, it's a very straightforward question. Uh, it's about B, okay? Because the fixed cost, the total, the fixed cost is fixed, remains unchanged, while the increase in quantity will make the average total cost drop, okay, continuously. Then if you recall, there are lots of policies like physical policy, monetary policy, and supplied side policy. Now, I think a uh, candidate you should master these three. Okay, these three policies very well. Um, but I would like to talk about it. So expansionary, sorry, um, yeah, the monetary policy is a very hot topic in recent years, including both multiple choice question uh, in paper one, and also the structured questions in paper two, which we are going to talk about it uh, in this part of video. Okay, later on. Okay, we'll talk about when we talk about the structured questions. You can see. There are lots of questions related to the monetary policy. Now we will come back to uh, you know uh, this question. Okay, 
So this question, uh, question 17, uh, it talks about, okay, so what kind of monetary policy would reduce inflation, okay, would reduce inflation? Um, people, okay, um, always ask, okay, whether the answer goes to A or B, okay, remember that, okay, when it comes to monetary policy, if you consider both A and B, they will make the Y drop, they will make the Y drop. But one more thing you have to consider, the answer goes to B, because you have to consider the effect on the exchange rate. So the answer must go to B, okay? Exchange rate. We will talk about the effect of exchange rate in the later part of this video. So um, let's do one more time, okay? For this one, expansionary monetary policy, okay, so this one decrease in the interest rate, okay? Uh, it's so that, okay, it should increase the money supply or decrease the interest rate, okay? For the budget deficit, it's wrong because um, it's about the physical policy. Okay, it's physical policy. This is a new topic, okay, about the birth rate and the death rate. Now, um, for question 24, it's quite easy. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, it's also about the birth rate and the death, uh, death rate. Okay, birth rate and death rate. Uh, you have read it. I would like to talk about the the March paper about the living of standard again. Okay. The living standard depends on the life expectancy. Okay, the higher the life expectancy, okay, the better. And the mortality rate, that means okay, a newborn baby would they die, okay? You know, um, the lowest one, the better. So the answer goes to D, okay? This is a new topic and I think you should, you know, uh, read your textbook and make sure you understand. Here we go to the last multiple choice question that I would like to highlight. Um, it's about the current account deficit. Now, as you recall, um, in the balance of payments, there are a lot of accounts, current account, capital account, blah, blah, blah. And there are different situations, okay, like surplus, deficit, okay. Um, I, we can see that um, in the current exam trend, okay, it's always, okay, about the current account deficit. And how can we deal with it? Um, for question 29, um, let's take a look. Part this one, cut the interest rate, increase in income. Cut the income tax, increase in income. Option D, increase in income. So A, B, D, they are all about increasing income. Wrong. So the answer goes to C. Okay. Okay. So this one, okay, you might refer to your textbook. It's called the J curve. Okay. You have to understand that. Okay. The Marshall linear conditions and the J curve. Um, for another question, it's quite uh, tricky. Okay. It's about increasing the size of the deficit. Increasing the size of the deficit. Now, as you can see, for both option A, option B, and option C, oh my God, it's again, it's about increasing income. So the answer goes to D, okay? The answer goes to D. Because, okay, um, the mandatory base of body needs to spend a lot of stuff, okay, is regarded as import. So the skills to do it, <laughs> you have to close out those options related to income. So this is a very funny trick, okay? Uh, very funny stuff. Uh, so right now we are going to move on to the written structure questions. After we have discussed, okay, six topics of the multiple choice questions, now here we go to the paper two, the structure written paper. Now, um, the first topic that I would like to share with you, okay, um, is about part C. Now, I found that um, in recent past paper, um, monetary policy is a very hot topic. Um, I would like to take a look um, the 2021 CIE March paper 2 first. Um, the marking guideline is attached in the right hand side. Okay, uh, the question, okay, uh, need, I asked the candidate to analysis the effect on the central bank to reduce inflation. Yeah. So what you need to do, um, first of all, you have to name, name the policy nature, okay. So that is, that is, okay, this time, okay, it will be contractionary. So you rem remember that. You have to name the nature. Now the second step, you have to name the two. The two of monetary policy, okay. If you recall, there are a lot of tools, right? Like, uh, you know, buying bonds, blah, 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 okay. So a common two, you know, would be interest rate. You can see that, right? A common two would be interest rate. Next, what you need to do, you need to um, talk about, okay, the effect of interest rate. The effect of interest rate. So there are several things you have to highlight. Uh, the first one is about the saving and borrowing. The saving and borrowing. So this is very important in exam. So I will put it here. The first thing 
as to highlight the effect on the saving and borrowing. So this is very, very important. Number two, after that, you have to talk about the changes in the consumer expenditure and the AD. Consumer expenditure and the AD. Okay, that's very important. So I will put it down. This is number two, the changes in the consumer spending the investment spending and the AD. As you found, these items, they appeared okay, in both the marking guidelines, right? So it's very, very important for you to do so. Um, next, number three, you have to highlight uh, the changes to the foreign exchange rate. Foreign exchange rate. Now, um, I will talk about uh, that as uh, a lot of students, they miss this point. Okay, foreign exchange rate. So I will put it down here, okay, in the right hand side. It's about the exchange rate. Please do not omit this part, okay? It's very, very important. Okay? So this is, okay, how we do it. Okay, remember this. First of all, we talk about the borrowing and saving. Number two, we talk about the consumer expenditure, investment expenditure, and the AD. And number three, don't forget to talk about the effect on the monetary policy to the exchange rate. It comes to our last topic. Uh, it's called the judgment on government innovation. It is a very hot topic in recent years. Now, um, I would like to check out the part D. Okay, part D. Now, as you can see, for part D, um, you know, it's eight mark questions. And it's the highest marks question um, in this uh, CIE uh, econ paper. And you can see um, there is always question asking okay, whether the government should do something. Okay, whether the government should do something. In fact, the topic okay, is about the government intervention. So what do we need to do? We need to provide the criteria to judge whether the government should involve in that particular base. So please remember that you have to put down the criteria. Okay, um, so let's take a look at um, the first example. Okay, in 2021 CIE March, um, this case is about, okay, um, can the government reduce unemployment without increasing inflation. Now, I've put the answer on the right top corner. Now, you can see these answers, okay, they are, uh, you know, there are uh, criteria, okay, in giving them. Now, um, say for example, okay, say for example, um, the criteria would be whether the economy is close to full employment or there are a lot of workers, they have been unemployed, okay? So the first criteria would be the situation in the labor market. So can you put it down, okay? The situation in the labor market, okay? So that is, are there any, uh, you know, um, spare, okay, or spare resources, like, uh, you know, uh, unemployed, unemployed the people or or and then is come to full capacity okay all right so uh, in economic terms okay you may you might put it like uh, whether the AS curve is the aggregate supply curve is upward sloping or vertical okay it depends okay so remember that when you judge when you judge whether the government should intervene it depends on the situation of the labor market okay this is the first thing you have to think about figure it out okay um, now um, the second thing um, is about the confidence the confidence of the consumers the confidence so that is okay whether the investment of the government can raise a higher consumer expenditure and investment um, so you have to put it down. This is number two. I will put it down in the bottom corner. Okay. Um, it's about the confidence of 
the consumers and the investors. Okay, the same for example, okay, um, if they don't have confidence, okay, the drop in tax, okay, might not, might not raise the C and I, okay. The, the multiply effect will be very small, okay, um, you can put it down this term, multiply effect, okay, um, so, okay, let me put it down, okay, M-U-L-T-I-P-L-I-D, multiply effect, it depends on the multiply effect, okay, of, you know, the government intervention. So these are the two criteria that you can make use of to answer questions regarding okay, whether the okay, whether the government should okay involve in something. Now I will try to apply these criteria into another uh, okay recent questions okay in the two oh two one CIE June paper two. Okay, this term okay is about okay should the government okay uh, provide some of these on housing. Okay, so let's take a look at the first criteria. It depends on the labor market situation, if you recall. Now, what, is, what does it mean? Say, for example, if the labor market is full, okay, come on, it, the price level might rise. Remember that, okay, you have to consider the price level, the price level. Now, this one is the same. It's the same as Inflation, if you recall, okay. Inflation is the same as the marking guideline provided in previous questions. So you can see that, right? The same criteria can be applied. Now, um, so I would say this is the end of this video. Okay, uh, remember to subscribe to our channel.